All right, so I uh, put the new fan in, lost the bolt. I gotta find a bolt now for that, but I have them, I'm sure. But the things that were weird with this thing was the uh, leaf springs, the interior's clean now in it. The leaf spring in the back wasn't in the right, like the center pin wasn't in the hole. And they just tightened it up, and there was a gap between the leaf spring and the, like the mount, the perch, the leaf perch on the axle. It was a, the hole wasn't lined up, so it was off to the front and to the side, and they just tightened it down with the pin on top of the mount instead of getting it in the hole and actually making it right. And that was sketchy, and that was the clunking in the rear. That wheel, every lug nut was loose on it when I got it. The exhaust, it's all good now. My buddy Adam welded it for me and it's nice. All the welds are real nice on it. distributor it's brass and I have a brass tip uh, rotor two for it to go on I got NGK spark plug wires NGK plugs the interior cleaned up pretty nice it's a little dusty in here though but the carpet's really nice in this actually it doesn't look like it in the video so much but it's super clean the carpet in this thing the only thing it needs is the headliner done which i'm going to do that i haven't picked a color probably just do the factory gray the got the bluetooth in here the vents were only blown out of the defrost fixed that now they're blown everywhere out that was uh the blower motor resistor is bad too so if your fan speed only works on four your blower motor resistor is bad that's that is every time so i got one of them coming today and the uh, reason the default setting is if this vacuum line right there was unhooked and then the canister down here the line was off so hook that back up and then the default setting is to the defrost so if yours is only blown out the defrost only on any setting it's a vacuum leak most likely so I checked that little fitting first and I checked that canister down here. I still gotta get this flare on and pull that out and put the pull the other side out a little bit, but other than that though, this thing's pretty solid. Probably might do a new radiator because it looks original in it. And that's probably gonna be it. Probably new heater core hoses too because they look like crap with new clamps. The other the radiator hoses are new. But I'm trying to like basically make this thing so it has no issues. I gotta drive it an hour and a half each way to work. So I'm trying to get it to the point where it's ready to go. So this is the mall screen pearl color. It has a lot of gold in it, 97 and 8 I heard. It's kind of a cool color if it was nice to paint, but it's really faded. But that's it for this video. I was just doing a quick update on the Jeep. Sounds good, actually, the exhaust. It's a Dynamax muffler. It's not too loud. Sounds pretty nice. It actually runs really strong now. LED reverse bulbs to put in there yet, too, I have for it. I'll go over everything as I do it. Just looks like a budget build. It's still something, you know, that's going to be something you could drive one and a half hours to work. 